Having information is only good if you know what to do with it. If you can't find what you're looking for, your records might as well not exist. That's why Process Street's Reports dashboard lets you see everything you need to see in one place. To see your reports, click the Reports tab at the top of your screen in Process Street. Here, you'll be able to see the default views of all of your workflows, or create your own to view the information that's important to you. These default saved views show all active, overdue, on track, or due soon workflows run across your whole organization. All active workflow runs assigned to you. All workflow runs that are overdue. And all completed workflow runs sorted by the most recently completed. Reports become really powerful when you start customizing your view to see specific information. For example, you can limit your view to only see the workflow runs and form field data from a single workflow. This lets you compare how different runs are progressing, what information has been captured, and whether they've been completed fully and on time. If you want to see a set of information without having to set up your view every time, you can also create a new saved view. These will be listed along with your default views and allow you to create custom dashboards to oversee the information you need. To do this, you can either open a saved view, edit the filters to show what you want, then click Save View. Enter the name of your new view, make sure that the Create New Saved View option is selected, then click Save. Alternatively, you can click the plus button in your Saved Views menu, name it, and select the permission levels for it. You can share private saved views as needed, or let your entire organization access them, depending on who needs to see this information. Then set your filters up, click Save View, and then Save to finish. Let's dive into the options you have for your reports screen. If you're searching for a specific workflow run, you can use the search bar to look for the name of that run. The Filters menu lets you narrow down the runs that are shown to meet specific criteria, such as the name of the run containing a certain word, showing only workflow runs with a certain status, those with specific started, activity, due or completed dates, any runs with a certain number of overdue tasks, and those with a specific number of completed tasks. You can limit your view to show only workflow runs from specific workflows by selecting them from the workflow menu. Finally, the columns menu allows you to choose which columns are shown. These include everything from who is assigned to the run and whether certain tasks have been completed, to the comments on tasks and contents of specific form fields. Your filters, workflow limitations, and column selection and positioning can all be saved to a view of your choice. To delete a saved view, click the cog next to its name in the Save View menu, then click Delete View. Finally, you can export your current view to a CSV file by clicking this button. Choose whether you want to export all columns or just the ones currently visible, then click Export CSV. Stop getting lost in your workflow runs. Start organizing them into reports that anyone can easily read today at process.st.